Lemoth Adar, written by Sir Thomas Mallory around 1485, is a famous epic that tells the legendary story of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. Mallory, a knight who was also a prisoner, compiled many Arthurian legends, legends into one comprehensive work. He drew from earlier sources in Britannia and the French Vulgate cycle. Mallory added his own story, the tale of Sir Gareth, but most of the tales in the book come from these earths. This collection became the most influential source for the Arthurian legends and has inspired countless retellings. The work was first published by William Caxton in 1485. Caxton, who also printed the Canterbury Tales, played a significant role in shaping the text. For many years, his version was the only one available and later editions often updated the language from the original Middle English. In 1934, a manuscript known as the Winchester Manuscript was discovered by W. F. Oakshot in England. This manuscript is believed to be closer to his original work and shows that Caxton may have made significant changes such as dividing the story into 21 books instead of Mallory's planned eight. Despite these variations, the core story remains a captivating tale of heroism, betrayal and tragedy. The story begins with Uther Pendragon, the King of England, who desires Igraine the wife of the Duke of Tindagil. With the help of the sorcerer Merlin, Uther disguises himself and conceives a child with Igraine, who later becomes King Arthur. After Uther's death ensues in England, until young Arthur pulls the magical sword Excalibur from a stone, proving he is the rightful king. Arthur establishes his reign and faces challenges from other lords who doubt his legitimacy. He learns of his true heritage and destiny, but also, also discovers that he has unknowingly fathered a child, Mordred, with his half-sister, who is destined to bring about his downfall. Arthur unites his knights at the round table, establishing a code of chivalry. The early books of the epic recount various adventures, including the story of Sir Balin, a knight who tragically kills his brother Sir Balan in a duel due to mistaken identity. The tale also follows Arthur's marriage to Gunever and the establishment of the round table. Notably, Merlin, the wise sorcerer, meets his end when he is, tra he is trapped by Nimu, the lady of the lake. In Book 5, Arthur refuses to pay tribute to the Roman Emperor Lucius, leading to a war. Arthur forces ultimately triumph and he is crowned emperor in Rome. This book also introduces Sir Lancelot who becomes one of the most important knights in the story. The next book focuses on Lancelot's adventures showcasing his unmatched skills and his complicated love for Queen Guinevere which becomes a central conflict in the story. Book 7 presents the original tale of Sir Gareth a young man who arrives at court under the alias Bomanis, meaning fair hands. Mocked by Sir Kay, but supported by Sir Lancelot, Gareth proves himself a noble and brave knight. He defeats several formidable opponents and marries Dame Lioness, earning a place as one of the greatest knights. Books 8, 9 and 10 tell the story of Sir Tristram, another legendary knight, Tristram falls in love with Law Beal Isud while seeking a cure for a wound. However, Isud marries King Mark, Tristram's uncle, leading to a secret and dangerous love affair. Despite being a great warrior, Tristram's love for Isud and the jealousy of King Mark lead to tragedy. Tristram is eventually killed by Mark after many adventures. Books 11 and 12 delve deeper into Launcelot's life. He is tricked into sleeping with a lion who bears him a son, Galahad. Galahad is destined to surpass all knights, particularly in the quest for the Holy Grail. This revelation strains Launcelot's relationship with Gunever, leading to his temporary madness and eventual reconciliation with her. The quest for the Holy Grail or the Sangreal occupies books 13 to 17.
द होली क्रेल इज द मोस्ट सेक्रेड रिलिक एंड ओनली द प्योरेस्ट नाइट्स कैन फाइंड इट गैलहद एलॉन्ग विथ सर पर्सिवल एंड सर बोर्स और द की फिगर्स इन द क्वेस्ट दे फेस न्यूमरस ट्रायल्स एंड अल्टीमेटली सक्सीड विथ गैलहद अचीविंग ए विशन ऑफ क्राइस्ट एंड हीलिंग द मेन द किंग गैलहद्स प्यूरिटी एंड फेथ लेड हिम टू असन टू हैवन वेल पर्सिवेल becomes a hermit and dies peacefully bose returns to camelot to tell the tale the story of lancelot and guinevere's love affair resumes in books 18 and 19 leading to a scandal and all that rocks the kingdom despite their attempts to keep their love secret they are discovered leading to a series of tragic events lancelot rescues guinevere from being burned at the stake killing several knights in the process including sir gwen's brothers this action turns gwen and lord leading to a war between the knights in the final books 20 and 21 the downfall of the round table and the death of king arthur unfold mordred arthur's son takes advantage of the chaos and declares himself king spreading false rumors of arthur's death arthur, re- arthur returns from battling launcelot in france to confront mordred The final battle at Salisbury Plain results in a devastating clash where Arthur kills Mordred but is mortally wounded. As he lies dying, Arthur instructs Sir Bedivere to return Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake, Lady of the Lake. Arthur is taken to the mystical island of Avilion where he is set to rest until he is needed again. The story ends with sorrowful deaths of many knights including Launcelot who dies of grief after Guinevere passes away. The kingdom falls into disarray and Sir Constantine son of Sir Caedor becomes the new king. Lemoth Arthur is a tale of heroism, love, betrayal and the inevitability of fate. It captures the rise and fall of one of the most legendary kingdoms in literature, filled with memorable characters and timeless themes. Despite the tragic ending, the King Arthur and his knights continues to inspire and captivate audiences, reminding us of the ideals of chivalry and the complexities of human nature.